Welcome to etvfutures.com. Today is Friday, December 28th. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your Commodities Recap. Oil prices fell, reversing earlier gains after weak figures on new home sales renew concerns about the economy. Crude in New York fell 62 cents to settle at $96 a barrel on the NYMEX. Natural gas futures rose 18.6 cents to settle at 7.386 per 1,000 cubic feet. As the dollar sank lower, gold rose as a hedge against inflation. Gold settled at $842.70 an ounce, up $10.90 on the COMEX division of the NYMEX. Meanwhile, silver closed at 14 Point eight nine five an ounce. Today we're joined by Derek Fry from O and F Futures and Options. Derek, what is your outlook for the commodities market as we head into the weekend? Recapping the action that we saw in the uh, metal and energy sectors today, um, I'll start with energy. We saw kind of a mixed day in crude oil today. Ended up a little bit down, but ultimately we still feel that uh, the long side is the place to be for the short term. We still feel that the old highs will be tested, probably broken. Um, and uh, ultimately print that mythical $100 level that uh, still has everyone's attention. Um, so until we at least get up there and retest those highs, we feel that we're going to continue to buy dips. Um, moving over to the metals, we saw a pretty strong rally today uh, in gold, uh, largely on the back of the assassination in Pakistan. Um, it remains to be seen, really, the Indian markets and everything in the overnight markets didn't have a huge reaction to the assassination, so that's actually a good thing. Um, and so I actually don't think the upward momentum in gold is going to sustain itself. We're actually looking at uh, retesting the old highs here in gold, much like in crude, and then uh, at, at best retesting those highs, and then really falling back down and retesting the 800 level again. Um, so we're actually, at this point, exiting longs and looking to begin establishing shorts. So uh, that's uh, ultimately what we're looking at. A lot of the weakness that you've seen in the last three days in the dollar we think is also a little bit artificial. That's also partially what's pushed gold up. And we think you're going to see the dollar come back and continue to strengthen uh, once we get in through the new year. That was Derek Fry from ONF Futures and Options. I'm Caitlin Sisney. Join us again later for PM Exchange right here on etvfutures.com. Thank you.